Welcome to Plowman's Backyard. My name is Kendra and today we are cooking beets. That's right, we're cooking beets the only way that you should be cooking beets. Easy and super clean. We all know how messy beets can be when we're cooking them on the stovetop. Well, today I'm showing you how to cook beets in the Instapod. So easy. Whether you're wanting to eat them fresh or wanting to pickle them or even if you're wanting to can your beets, use the Instapot. I'm gonna go through the simple steps on how to cook your beets in the Instapot. Once you try it, this method, I guarantee you will not go back to your old method of cooking beets. The next thing we wanna do is just put in our beets. You can wash them, you can destem them. I usually do it after they're done cooking. You can use any size you want from large to small. This one here is a bit big, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut it in half. Like that. And you can fill it up to the max line. And like I said, I use this even when I'm canning and pickling my beets. It's so easy. Perfect. That looks like a good amount in there. You can see that the max line is here. So um, staying below that is important, which it seems to be doing just fine. Might need to rearrange them a little bit, but. Anyways, I think that's great. I've got a few left over. I'm just gonna set this back inside. Our water's in there, everything is ready. We're going to secure our lid. All right, we have it plugged in. Uh, we have this um, put back to make sure that it's in the ceiling uh, placement, not the venting. Now everything's locked into place, it's on. The next thing we wanna do is we're gonna use the pressure cook. So we're gonna push the pressure cook uh, we don't need to keep it warm, so I'm just going to give that a little bit of a push. And we're going to cook it on high, but I'm going to change the time and we're going to put it up to 20 minutes. And then we're going to press start. So just like pressure canning, we're actually just going to wait for this to pop up. The machine knows exactly what it needs to do. This will pop up and then it'll start the timer for 20 minutes. So this is saying it's on. So what it's doing right now is it's going to build it up to pressure and that little um, vent thing's gonna pop up and then it's gonna start the cooking time for 20 minutes. When it's all done, that little thing will go do down. This will let you know that it's done and we'll bring you back and we'll show you how well and easy it is to cook beets in your Instapot. Now that the beets are done, you can naturally um, allow the pressure to go down in your Instapot, or I like to just turn it to venting and um, just do like a quick release. So now that this little red thing had popped down, all the air is out of your Instapot is now safe. Um, we can open it up and check on our beets. So as you can see, our beets are done. So now would be the perfect time if you were wanting to do canning, um, you would probably wanna be very careful and peel this and then get them into your jars if you're wanting to pickle or can your beets. This would be a perfect time while they're hot to do that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save them for later and I'm gonna eat them fresh. And what I like to do is just have these sitting with their peels on right in the refrigerator. And as I go to use them, I will peel them. That's what I do. I find it's easiest. Um, it's not a lot of work all at once. And they stay fresh for quite a while that way. I'm just gonna let them cool down here for a while before I end up putting them in the fridge in an airtight container. And that is how easy it is to make your beets with the Instapot. And there's literally almost no mess. <laughs> 